Okay, so just a quick rough and ready uh, video with dodgy drawings to explain the logic behind respectexchange.com. Um, it's basically, I had been to a, a very negative place and had rescued myself and I was proud of myself. And what I wanted to do was help other people who were in the same situation I was in. And invariably the message I left with, I led with if you like, was be positive. I rescued myself, so can you. It is possible to rescue yourself. I was trying to uplift people. But when I became really friendly with someone who was in one of these bad places, what I listened to them to, and what I was constantly told, what they constantly told me was, don't tell me to be positive. I'm in a bad place. Leave it. And then the other thing they kept telling me was, don't tell me what to do. So basically, as I was wanting to share how I rescued myself using the positive format, I was sharing in a way in which the person who was in the bad place rejected out of hand immediately because I was telling them to be positive, which they didn't want, and I was telling them what to do, which they didn't want. Okay, So I had a sort of impasse. I had the the knowledge and experience to, to, to get out of the bad place. They were in the bad place, but the way I was communicating didn't meet what they needed. So what I then did was started listening to them more and started putting my knowledge, if you like, into a format that met their needs. And I ended up with the, the Rescue Me card format where I put the bad at the top. I said, this is what it's like to feel really bad. And underneath it, I wrote the action, positive action, as I took, to get rid of the bad. But I wrote it in a way in which it is very, very difficult for the reader to feel as though they're being told what to do. What I then did, put those on cards, physical cards they could read. And then just, Asked, I asked the person in the bad place whether they would like to buy the cards. This made it their choice, spending their money their way. They looked at the cards and gave me you know, a few quid for them. So it then became their choice to use those cards. And then it started to help them. They started to read them. The bad, they could agree with the bad. That somehow validated that it was okay for them to feel bad. And then the action was, was written in a way in which they didn't always take the action, but it inspired them to take action because it wasn't telling them what to do. And that basic experience has driven me creating Respect Exchange. And then the idea of respectexchange.com is that those people who have recovered themselves, who have nuggets of information that can benefit, share them on Respect Exchange, and then I distill them down into that format. Okay? which then the people in the bad place can buy for a few quid here and there so that they are taking the positive action. That's basically it. If you've got any questions, please come to respectexchange.com and ask. And if you've got some nuggets of information how you've rescued yourself, please come and share them there. Thanks a lot. Bye.